<laughs> oh yeah, baby. Take a guess where you are. You're just surfing YouTube, looking for music reviews, looking for great music. I'm talking incredible music here, you guys, not just fucking mediocre, meaningless shit from 2002 to 2023 era. Fuck today's music, you guys, for I, Clark the Shark, on the mighty Clark the Shark talk radio show, which you have stumbled upon today, the Lord God and his son, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit sent you here. I'm not kidding. You think I'm fucking kidding? I'm not. This is the matrix. It's a simulation you are in. And that woman that you can barely see because she's blended with the trees and horses. And she is my mother, her, that beautiful, beautiful woman that's camouflaged. And it's like you're fucking on acid. I swear to God, you guys, the sticks grand illusion album cover has to be one of the most insane fucking things I've ever seen. But it's actually my mother, Joanne Higgins. She had me in 1965. And when she did, she said, you are the one Morpheus. I mean, Sharky, sorry. Here in the shark tricks. It's not a matrix, you guys. For what you are in, your reality, I totally wrote it all. I'm not kidding, dude. You think I'm kidding? I'm not. This is my mother, and I'm Clark the Shark on the Clark the Shark Show. And everything you did today, like you went to Starbucks trying to meet a chick, or you went to a 7-Eleven because you're lonely, and you went to a fucking Mobile or a Chevron or a 76, and you're trying to you're trying to break out of the shark tricks, but you can't and you never will because I wrote this all since 1965 and I did it just to torture you. I swear to God, dude, I, you think God is kind of a jerk, you know, the way you suffer and dude, it, like you get some money, then it's gone and then, you know. When something good comes around and then you get it and then it's gone at 1-800-449-8255 from the fabulous golden EIB Sharker phone. It's not a microphone, you guys. Clark the Shark doesn't speak into a microphone. I speak into a solid gold Sharker phone that Dick Clark himself gave me in 1973 when I was eight years old. And he said, this is for you, Shark. This is the solid gold chakra phone, and you're going to use it on the Clark the Shark show someday when you do shark casting, not broadcasting, because you control the shark tricks, not the matrix. I'm just like Morpheus or Nero or Nemo or whatever the fuck his name was or that chick where they pull the thing out of her brain in the matrix and then she dies and that's what I can do to you me and my mother right there we're looking at you this beautiful woman that hypnotizes you on the cover of the sticks grand illusion because everything around you is nothing but a grand illusion that I Clark the shark create and I write daily and all these little men in blue build everything and all the dinosaurs and millions and billions of years of evolution and UFOs and, you know, you know how they say the Milky Way is 250,000 light years to get from one, you know, the furthest circumference to the other across the circle. It's even further than that, I swear to God, because I, Clark the Shark, can do it in one second, but none of you can right here on the Clark the Shark show, or I'm talking about sticks. The Grand Illusion, uh, is this one of the greatest albums ever recorded in rock music? 
I think it is, you guys. This is fucking incredible here. Now, I know a lot of you punk rockers and heavy metal kids and, oh, you guys are way too cool for sticks. You know, you're smoking weed and you fucking masturbate in the bathroom and watch pornography and, oh, you vote Democrat eight times. You vote for Joe Biden and Hillary Clinton and you think you're so cool, dude. You print up fake shit and mail it in or some shit. I don't know what the fuck you do. You think you're, you think Clark the Shark doesn't see you doing all the sins you do? Well, you better go to confession on Saturday, buddy. And you better get down on your knees and forget God. You better pray that I, Clark the Shark, fucking approve of you. Because if I don't, me and my mom, Joanne, right here on the cover of Sticks, we will find you. Yeah, we will, dude. You can't fucking get away like Morpheus and Keanu Reeves or Neo or Nero or whatever the fuck his name is. You can't escape me, Clark the Shark. I'm watching you all the time. And when I'm watching Sticks, The Grand Illusion... I'm watching a tragedy here, you guys, because the way these other guys in sticks have treated Dennis DeYoung over the last 23 years or so, 25 years, I don't know. Dennis DeYoung got really sick and he got some disease or some shit. And he said, you guys, I'm going to take some time off. I can't tour. You know, he I know what it's like because I used to clean swimming pools all day long, you know, from four in the morning till 7 p.m. at night. And other pool guys, you know, around San Diego, uh, they they talk about Clark the Shark. They're like, oh, Sharky, he's, he's got long hair and he's not professional. You want to know what's funny? I take over too many pools uh, that other fucking lunkheads who smoke weed in their pool truck uh, either can't or won't do. I, Clark the Shark, I'm like the guy they come crawling to. Like, dude, will you clean my swimming pool? I can't get uh, blah, blah to do it. Yeah, dude, I'll, you know. And you know what the funny irony is, is then I go clean the fucking pool. And then that customer don't even pay me. The guy that quit blah, blah, Joe. And and then I realize him and Joe are laughing at me. But guess what? You're never really laughing at Clark the Shark. I'm laughing at you from the cover of my album here that I recorded. And my mother is looking at you all the time. You can't even see her because she's in a forest camouflage in a horse and some guy's riding a horse. Look at her. It's just a grand illusion. You think your life sucks because your neighbors got it made? Dude, you do or you don't. Or maybe you think you you're bigger and better than your neighbor. You know, and you got it made. But just remember that it's a shark illusion. And deep inside you guys, we're all the same. No, it's true. I swear to God. 1-800-449-8255. The Wolfman Jack on crack. Clark the motherfucking shark from the golden EIB sharker phone. Baby, I'm going to tell you about the Sticks Grand Illusion where they hired some keyboard guy. I know he's talented. He's a great singer, you know. And I know they did some great albums recently with this guy. But he's not Dennis DeYoung. And then there's a part of my brain that's like, well, you know, maybe it was meant to be. Maybe the Lord God uh, wanted Sticks to, you know, do these albums or whatever without Dennis DeYoung. Who knows? They're interesting albums. You got to check out the albums they recorded without Dennis DeYoung. I'm not kidding. They're really good. And more than that, they're really interesting. Right here on the Clark the Shark Show. Now, this album, back when I was a kid, I was just, you know, at Newton School, you know, listening to whatever, the Beatles and the Stones and just figuring out other music, you know, and punk rock and all this shit. And then all of a sudden, dude, I hear just this keyboard insanity one day 
where I'm like, what the fuck is this shit, dude? And of course, sticks had been around a long time. And, uh, I, you know, I was just a little kid. I was only 11, 12, 13. And I'd heard previous sticks, you know, here and there. I was already kind of a musicologist as a child. But when I heard this album, I was like, wow, what the dude, what the fuck is this? This is their best shit yet. It's going to the next level. They're hitting the ball out of the park. I mean, 1977, you guys, I was 12 years old and I was blown away by this album. And of course, you know, there were kids at Newton School and Torrance like, dude, don't listen to that. Listen to punk. Dude, listen to the Sex Pistols. And I, dude, I, I, would, li I would give everything a chance. Me, Clark the Shark, I'm from Redondo Beach, Torrance, you know, the South Bay. I'm the guy in GE. You know, I got to listen to punk and all that shit, too. And heavy metal, you know, like Iron Maiden. And, you know, and just weird music like Styx and Rush and and all kinds of shit. Because, you know, I had no friends. And I'd go home to 251 Paseo de Gracia. And over time, I built up like a big vinyl collection. I would go to Go Boy Records or the Rhodium or weird places or garage sales to buy vinyls and shit. And uh, but I never bought anything as good as this, I thought at the time when I was just a kid. I thought this was like better than the Beatles or something. I'm not kidding. Uh, it had an honesty that just rang true. And Chicago, man, I love the city of Chicago, Illinois, dude. Um, <laughs> I mean, some of the bands like Smashing Pumpkins, I'm not I'm not wild about that shit, but that guy Love Sticks, you guys. Billy Corgan. Maybe just because they're from Chicago, you know, who knows? But for whatever reason, for better or worse, uh, he appreciates Sticks. And uh, I know a lot of punkers from that area that like Sticks. They might be afraid to admit it. You know, me, Clark the Shark, I'll just fucking say I like anything. I don't care who likes me, who, if I have friends or who my friends are. You know, every now and then I might get a big video on out there on the Internet or something and people will suddenly email like, Sharky, remember me? And I'm like, dude, you fucking hate me or, you know, you're, you're just indifferent or something. And they're like, no, no, dude, dude, I swear to God, bro. I swear to God, bro. I always, I always, I'm like, you always what, dude? Like, you know, I don't care if you... If I do get big someday or get on the radio or whatever, dude, I, if you want to like me, like me. If you want to hate me, hate me. Um, but be you. Be the real you is what I want. And if the real you hates Clark the Shark, like you really fucking hate me, then I think you should hate me. In fact, I, Clark the Shark, prefer to be hated. I don't really like it every now and then if someone emails me or calls me and they're like, dude, you're funny. You're great. You're, you're so ironic, bro. You're so irreverent. And um, I don't know what to do with that. I'm like, cool. Thanks, bro. <laughs> I do, that feels weirder than if someone's like, you don't know what you're doing. You're insecure. Like that sounds more like what I want to hear. Like, fuck you, shark. You, you never, you never helped anyone <laughs> or something, dude. I don't know. I'll just come up with something mean to say, like you never cared about people or something, dude. I, I think I do care about people or maybe they're right. And I don't, I don't know. But all I know is in the shark tricks, uh, the, ma the matrix, it's not a matrix and it's not a simulation like Elon Musk says, it's a shark tricks because I'm playing tricks on you. You think the world evolved over billions of years and I put the dinosaur bones in the ground just to fuck with you, you guys. You think we're the only thing in the universe, just the earth, you know, Andromeda, Milky Way, a bunch of galaxies and just the earth. But then these UFOs fly around and I'm here to tell you right now, dude, those UFOs aren't real. I, Clark the Shark, just put those there to fuck with you. You know, like little green men type of shit.
You think the devil, Satan, 666, can't do little green men or UFOs or dinosaurs, dude? Fuck yeah, he can. Because me, Clark the Shark, here in the Sharkulation, it's not a simulation, you guys. It's a fucking Sharkulation. Believe me, dude, I can do dinosaurs, I can do UFOs, I can do glitches in the shark tricks where you're like, dude, I'll swear I was at uh, this corner and now I blacked out. Now I'm three miles away. Yeah, I did that to you right here on the Clark the Shark Show, 1-800-449-8255, where everything you see is a grand illusion you guys and this sticks album july 7 1977 um it can do more than punk rock at the time could do and even the punk rockers today will tell you that like dude don't make fun of sticks they're fucking rad dude they're badass and if clark the shark says they're badass that means they are fucking badass dude at 1-800-449-8255 here on the clark the shark show the wolfman jack on crack where my guarantee to you is if you're not 123 percent satisfied with the clark the shark show i'll give you 100 percent of your shark back no questions asked, full guarantee, full refund on your Sharky. Now, if you're not satisfied with Sticks, Grand Illusion, dude, I don't know what the fuck to say for you because this album is incredible. I don't care what the stars say. I bet even Rolling Stone gave this a good review or I don't know, dude, but all music did. Fuck yeah. Uh, Rolling Stone only gave it a two and a half stars, but... I kind of expected that, you know, come on. But the first track on side one, The Grand Illusion, <laughs> where Styx reworks The Who pictures of Lily into The Grand Illusion. Listen to it, you guys. It's the same chord progressions. You know, it's okay because a lot of bands mix minors and majors. I do it when I write shit, dude. Um but what a song, dude. What an album. The Grand Illusion, the keyboards, you know, Dennis DeYoung, amazing. Everybody's amazing in the band, you guys. JY, amazing. Come on, dude, of course. All of them. Uh, the one guy in the band I'm not super wild about is the drummer. I have issue. I mean, I take issue with his drumming. Sometimes I'm like, you know, it's not powerful enough or something. And uh, for sticks, like it should be way more technical or more powerful or I don't know, dude, but it, it gets the job done. You guys, uh, the first track, the grand illusion, amazing. It gets all over the radio back in the seventies and eighties for a reason and fooling yourself. <laughs> oh, dude, you know, that's amazing. I mean, you are fooling yourself out there. If you don't think Sharky runs the shark tricks, I mean, the matrix Nero, uh, Morpheus or whatever the fuck your name is. Track number three, Superstars, is my favorite song on side one. And it's not even lit up in blue at Wikipedia, you guys. I love that song. Every song has incredible vocal harmonies, kind of like the Who, Tommy, or Yes. You know, a lot of people say that Styx is just a poor man's yes. And that's true, you guys, but only to a degree. There's something about Styx where these guys really jam. And I think because this band is from America, because they are from Chicago and they're not from the UK, you know, they're not from England. That's why Styx takes all this abuse, I think. Because if these guys were from England, like Uriah Heep, they would get more respect and they would get more cred. You guys, I believe that. They would get the kind of respect and cred that Yes and Chris Squire and John Anderson get if they were from the UK. And the bummer is, you know, they're from America. But then there's a part of me that's like, well, thank God I, I praise the Lord above that Styx is from America. Because then I can say, see, we got some good music here. And uh, Come Sail Away, of course, awesome. Miss America, awesome, you guys. Side two is uh, not as good as side one, but it's fucking really good. 
Uh, you all know Miss America. What a classic, loaded with harmonies galore. Uh, Styx really hit it out of the park with the harmonies. The, and they even play harmony guitar solos. Uh, it's amazing. Man in the Wilderness. Uh, killer, dude. I fucking love it. Uh, you know. <laughs> uh, Tommy Shaw. There's something to be said because he wasn't always in Styx. He joined... Uh, there was another guy, and then he came along, and uh, yeah, dude. I mean, it got better. I don't like to see lineup, you know, band lineup changes, but that was one that worked out. Castle Walls is awesome. Awesome, you guys, in the grand finale. I love Castle Walls. Uh, a lot of people say, you know, side two, Man in the Wilderness and Castle Walls, you know gets a little, eh, you know, but me, Clark the Shark, when I dig into awesome music like Styx, The Grand Illusion, I'm listening to every fucking song. And, uh, you know, I got to say, you guys, I like Side 2. I admit it's not as good as Side 1. But, um, you know, growing up in Redondo Beach, Torrance, you know, Hermosa Beach, riding my bike, my Strand Cruiser down to Venice, you know, I would listen to Sticks in my headphones. I know that people probably were like, dude, you should be listening to Black Flag, bro. You're from Torrance. I, dude, I, do, I did listen to my share of Greg Ginn and, and all that shit, you know, and, and the germs and Agent Orange. But when I want quality that's going to blow my fucking mind, I'm sorry, you guys. I'm either listening to Rush, Yes, Emerson, Lake, and Palmer, or, or Styx. And a lot of people would be like, that's blasphemy, Shark. That's a sacrilege. You don't dare mention Rush and Styx along with Yes. But I do because I'm like, dude, uh, you know, love them or hate them for better or for worse, take it or leave it. Great songs are great songs. You know, and Rush, Spirit of Radio is fucking great. Dude, I'm sorry. I know a lot of my, uh, you know, it's weird. The punk rockers are mad. The heavy metal kids are mad. The country and blues people are mad. Everybody wants Sharky to be on their team. I'm on everybody's team. You know, I, I like all music and I analyze, you know, Mozart or Beethoven, just like the Doors or the Beatles or the Who or the Kinks or whatever. And uh, for me, Sticks has something, you guys. I know you guys are like, dude, I hate Mr. Roboto. I hate it. And that's later, you know. I mean, when they were, you know, maybe they did suck then. But what I'm saying is on this album, no, dude. The Grand Illusion doesn't suck. I don't care what Rolling Stone says. I don't care what all music or anybody fucking says. You know me, Clark the Shark. I like great music that's incredible. And even if it's candy-assed escapism, dude, if it's really fucking good candy-assed escapism, uh, like like BOC or Styx or, or even, you know, the Jefferson Starship or Toto, I'll fucking give it a chance, dude. And if they happen to have a great song, I'm going to call a great song a great song. I'm going to call a spade a spade, you guys. I'm sorry. And for me, Sticks, The Grand Illusion, 1977, with my mom, Joanne. I'm so honored that Sticks cared about my mother enough to put her on the cover and forever. This is her back when she was only 22. But she's always watching me, Joanne. There she is, you guys. And she's always watching all of you, too, because she wants you guys to love each other. She wants you to love Clark the Shark, but you refuse. But that's okay. So long as you love Styx, the grand illusion, baby, you got some love in your heart. Little side note here. Dennis D. Young is a practicing Roman Catholic Christian. He's a great guy, man. Kind of like me, Clark the Shark. I'm kind of a lapsed 
Catholic or not a lapsed Christian. I just can't, you know, accept a church that doesn't let the priests get married or something. I don't get that. It's not in the Bible. It's not in scripture that priests uh, cannot be married. That's just some rule that the Vatican made up. And I'm sure the Dennis DeYoung would be like, yeah, Clark the Shark, I, I see what you're saying there, dude. I mean, look at what priests not being able to get with a lady and get married. Look what it's done to the Catholic Church over the last 50 years with all the pedophilia. And, you know, there's a lot of gay people, LGBTQ, whatever the fuck you call them. Those type of people gravitate into the Catholic priesthood because of the celibate, you know, no sex thing rule, rules, plural. And uh, just weirdos, you know, just strange people who, guys who, for whatever reason, they can't uh, get with a girl or be with a chick or, you know, I'm not talking short five foot six loser dudes. I'm talking good looking six foot three guys that raised well. They weren't abused or any of that. They're, you know, they have a good family right out of the womb, though. There's something fucked up about them. A lot of those tall intellectual people end up in the Catholic faith, in the Catholic priesthood. And uh, it's a bummer, man, that uh, it goes with that celibacy thing. But if you got rid of that and if the Catholic Church was more like the Baptists, you know, or, you know, the Protestants where the priests can get married and have kids and all that, I think it would be better. Now, I could be wrong. Maybe the Lord is like Clark, the shark. We do this for a reason at 1-800-449-8255. He's like, maybe we don't want the the priests watching pornography. I'm like, dude, they'll fucking watch more pornography if they can't get with a chick at 1-800-449-8255. And somebody's like, no, Sharky, you're wrong. That's just weirdos like you. I'm like, dude, you can't compare like a five foot six weirdo like Clark the Shark with other weirdos. You know, it just weirdos, dude, is a big fucking spectrum. Uh, and it's, you know, dude, you don't want to propagate or uh, further weirdos in any way at 1-800-449-8255 on the Clark the Shark Show. And yet our society does this and maybe sticks to with the Grand Illusion album, 1977. In a good way, they were doing that too when they released this very fascinating album right here on the Clark the Shark show where I'm really a Dennis D. Young fan and great singer, great keyboardist. He is Sticks, you guys. He's like the Roger Waters of sticks. And I know that Tommy Shaw and JY would disagree. <laughs> I'm just like the Pinotos might even disagree. These five geniuses, you guys, how they continued without Dennis DeYoung, that is blasphemy against the Catholic faith. That is rock and roll sacrilege blasphemy against the rock gods. I, you know, Sticks, fuck you guys. How dare you go on without the great and mighty Dennis D. Young? I think this guy, J.Y., is kind of a dick, too, you know? I don't really think Tommy Shaw is a dick, but yeah, he kind of is. You know, and the two Pinozos, they're just like, I don't know, you know, Sharky, we're, we're just the rhythm section. But, um... Sticks the grand illusion, you guys. Everything around you is merely just a grand illusion that I, Clark the Shark, wrote right here on my PC every night. I'm not kidding, you guys. Everything I do, my mind is the universe, and all of you are just my subjects. And this girl, my mom, Joanne, she knows it. She's been trying to tell you from the album cover of Sticks Grand Illusion for 30, 40 years now, and you guys aren't listening to her. Look at her. She, you won't even listen to her, you guys, that everything around you is just a grand illusion. You know, it's not a grand illusion that these fucking guys kicked Dennis DeYoung out. That ain't cool, man. 
Dennis DeYoung, one of the most talented guys in rock music, incredible keyboardist, visionary, who makes atmospheric progressive rock. Uh, I mean, this may be a poor man's yes or a, a poor man's version of The Who or something. I don't fucking care. But, you know. And then the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Fuck that weak piece of Cleveland shit. Fuck that place. They're not going to put sticks in. Oh, but they put in Dave Grohl and Green Day. Are you, what are you guys going to put in Blink-182 before you put in sticks? You know, and the only fucking reason that Yes got into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame was because of Geddy Lee. He, he fucking only got in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame because of Grohl and Taylor Hawkins and those fucking guys were like, dude, you got to put Rush in the fucking Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. What are you doing? But I don't know if there's anybody for sticks. You know, maybe Billy Corrigan can speak up one day. I don't know if he's in. I hope they don't put him in either. But I'm saying if they do, he should speak up as a guy from Chicago and say, yeah, man, sticks should be in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. And I'd love to see these guys reunite with Dennis DeYoung. Maybe they can have him and that new keyboard guy both in the band for one last tour. I mean, these guys have all got to be in their 80s now. But what music they created. They, they made like four albums in a row that were like triple platinum or double platinum. I forget you guys. I'm not a big fan of the Billboard charts or, or any kinds of charts. Me, Clark the Shark, you know that. But that is an accomplishment you guys and uh the i think roboto only sold a million and it broke the streak but before that album i think it was four sticks albums in a row were triple fucking platinum and i don't even think led zeppelin did that at the time i think they did that later uh, as years went by but sticks were selling like fucking hotcakes you guys like fucking tasty bread Back in the 70s and 80s, in their time, sticks were huge, selling out arenas. These, these guys were a huge, gigantic band. And for a reason, right here on the Clark the Shark Show, and if you're into indie or today's shitty, lame music, I want you to get out of that and go to Spotify, Amazon, and iTunes and buy some sticks. If you're just 23 years old in 2023 and you were born in 2000, you were just one year old when 9-11 happened, I want you to buy sticks and get into all their music because it's incredible, you guys. It's an incredible band. And Dennis DeYoung, I want you to get into sticks, not for JY and Tommy Shaw or the Panazzos. I want you to get in to Dennis DeYoung because the guy was a genius. I know they all write and it's a it's a democracy. But to me, Dennis DeYoung is like the Roger Waters of sticks and J.Y. He isn't even the David Gilmore. I don't even think Tommy Shaw is. There isn't a fucking David Gilmore in sticks. It's all Dennis DeYoung, baby. He's the man in this fucking band. And I, Clark the Shark, am like the man in the wilderness in my shark tricks. I'm sorry, I mean the Matrix. I'm sorry, I mean the Shark Tricks. I'm sorry, I mean the Matrix. 001-0022-CTGYC-00... Dude, I'm having a... Hold on, you guys. I'm having... Something's wrong here. I'm having a, a an overload, like a, a crash of data in the Shark Tricks. In the Shark Tricks. In the Shark Tricks. Unacceptable. Sign here, please. Unacceptable. No sanctuary. Unacceptable. Sign here, please. Unacceptable. No sanctuary. Logan, run, Logan, run. Run, Logan, run. Right here on the Clark the Shark Show. 1 800 4493 You just got the only review of this amazing album that you will ever want or you will ever need. You guys, I'm sorry. I just had data overload right here on the Clark the Shark, the shark a lama ding dong shark a doodle do Talk radio, the Wolfman Jack on crack, motherfucker shark. You be here every day, you guys, where I'll be doing amazing reviews 
And in case you have data overload out there in your life, if you're driving for Uber or Lyft, or if you're working a shitty job, you got to quickly run to the Clark the Shark Show and hook up your brain quickly because I might unplug it anytime I want. And data overload can always occur. <laughs> Billy Bob.